Bitcoin must cross this particular line that we are going to talk about in a little moment. This is sort of an emergency video. <clears throat> and might I just say that while you are here, I've just put out an emergency updated video. So go check that one out. I'll leave it up in the cards above for you. But for now, we're almost about to hit 22.29 on the 29th of the 8th of August, which is pretty awesome. We have two more days left of the month of August. So we're going to have a little bit of a delve into Bitcoin and what it essentially it is that we could be expecting over these time frames but for now we do know that we are in a bear flag uh, sorry a bull flag pattern and you can see here that we are getting ready to make that pump up now we're in the middle of that range if we re if we really had to look at it and the way that we look at it is that this white line and these indicators here are officially your 200, your 100, your 50, and your 20, okay? Right now, your white one is your 200, your red one is your 20, your yellow is your 50, and your turquoise is your 100. Now, a pity that we have seen the 50 and the 20 cross over, but we have not yet seen that 20 cross over on the 200. I must say it is extraordinarily close on the daily time frame. However, as you can see, we're keeping a very decent uptrend here currently at the moment that is still within the larger bull flag pattern. MACD getting ready to break up, RSI resetting on the oversold position, and we could expect that Bitcoin could essentially consider a breakup. Before we head on to what it looks like on the weekly, the reason that this is currently happening is I did mention to you even all the way back on this video and this video that we would essentially and i'll leave them up the links go check them out for yourself but i did say to you that we would essentially probably pull back tap on the the 20 moving average you can see here that the dixie is pulling up on the rsi and the macd is currently getting ready to pull up to the upside so you can see right now that we're at the bottom end of this very long-term box here but we'll delve into the length the long term of the dixie in a moment the usdt on the other hand seems to be gathering some sort of momentum however seems that we are starting to round off a little bit here at the moment with a lower high possibly coming in at this point now i'm going to leave that here for a little bit of a moment because we also do have the potential of a lower high forming here on the RSI, which means that that's <clears throat> coercion in the price chart, meaning that the likelihood of us seeing a very strong rejection here and pulling back down to this level at the very least is quite high, possibly even this level. Now, we are still within this band, but in my personal view, this is a very long term bear flag pattern and it seems to be topping out on the usdt side for now if there is printing that does come about from the federal reserve however this will be invalidated and this will probably pump up the dixie will probably pump up and gold will pump up all risk on assets and that includes bitcoin and crypto will actually pump up now let's revert back to our Bitcoin chart and let's go and have a look at the Bitcoin chart on the weekly and what these moving indicators actually look like. <clears throat> now, if we zoom out a little bit on the weekly indicator, every time we did come below on the weekly of the 20 moving average, we did come and retest the 50 moving average. Well, might I just say to you that the same thing here, we actually, the same thing is happening here we broke down, we tested the 50 moving average, almost retested even the 100 moving average, but not quite, because that was a very nice indicator bar for us. And right now you can see that the momentum is building and all it's really doing is just playing up and down in this current range. It's getting tighter and tighter. It's gonna explode, whether it's to the upside, to the sideways or to the downways, okay? Either way, it's very likely going to explode. However, 
in saying that, you can see here right now that we are building the momentum on this 50 moving average. Now, once we build the momentum on the 50 moving average, I wonder what actually happens. Well, let us go and see what happens once we build momentum on the 50 moving average. You can see here, boom, bam, boom. We didn't even reach the 50 moving average over there. So for me right now, we can actually see that this is in a very, very, very good position. And we could possibly see the next capitulation or we're currently in capitulation. But we could be seeing the next move to the upside, which might I say should possibly end up hopefully looking something like this and hitting my target of about 300k by the end of the cycle. What do you think about that down below? Let us go and very quickly have a look at the dollar on the weekly time frame before we move on to the next ones, the monthlies. Now, as you can see here, the dollar on the weekly has built a very tremendous and is now crossing over with the MACD just heading further down but the RSI, the stochastic RSI, building momentum for the upside. Now you can see here, we're at the critical 200 on the Dixie and this could, and this down sloping trend line. So this could have been a massive fake out here. And because this could have been the market calling the Fed's bluff all the way from essentially when Bitcoin ETF launched, which was pretty much down here, like in, in March, April, April Fool's Day. They were calling bluff since April Fool's Day. And now it's time to see what happens to the Dixie. I did share that with you in all of these videos. The dollar is going to collapse. You need to go and check that one out. I will leave it up here in the comments above, uh, in the pin in the cards above for you. Right now, even if we pushed all the way back up here, the moving averages are slowly starting to pull down and cross over. When that happens on the Dixie, this kind of move really starts to happen. So right now for me, I, I actually believe that we're gonna have a very hard heavy rejection off of this 200, as you can see that happened right here. And the same thing happened right here. Once we were up uh, underneath the 200, we absolutely completely rejected from it. So right now, even though we could pull up just ever so slightly, we would very likely end up pulling back down on the Dixie and as I've shown you here, this is my personal target of about 93 and at the maximum about 89.65 on the Dixie. Let me know your thoughts down below, which would essentially then take USDT to possibly new heights because USDT is in a cryptocurrency printing new money. However, this is USDT dominance, which means that it's where USDT dominates, but it won't dominate during a crypto bull cycle. And why is that? Well, that is just typically because right now we'll, we will see the USDT collapse in its dominance because most of the liquidity in crypto will go into these risk on assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all of the other altcoins that I talked about on my channel. Go check my channel out, see what videos are there for you. And if you wanna trade with me right now, you can see Bitcoin's taking a bounce. You can see there's my position. Boom, we're getting ready right now. I mean, could have taken profits over there, but actually right now would be an incredibly interesting place to add some more to my position. But I'm not gonna do that because we already bounced right on my position. So I will leave that at this point. Let's go and have a look at what the beautiful, beautiful Bitcoin looks like on the monthly. Because essentially right now on the monthly, you can see that we're building a massive, massive, candle shooting star candle pretty much which tapped down to the 20 moving average now on the monthly time frame when we tap down on the 20 oops when we tap down on the 20 okay we essentially start to pull well we can see here that we've actually pulled down into a bear market but i would not believe that we are going to pull down into a bear market and i would rather say that by this time 75k to about 82k would essentially be the target that we would need to break out then at that point would give us another 300 estimated days so we've still got approximately 450 to 500 days left on this bull cycle now the reason i'm showing you this on the monthly time frame is because we are two days away from closing the monthly the stochastic is getting ready 
And right now, <clears throat> all I can say to you is that with a very strong bounce off of the moving averages, stochastic coming into a possible reset position, which is pretty much what happened in the last bull cycle. We moved down right to the halving point, essentially where we've made this next move up. Now we've had the halving. We were riding all the way up to the halving. Right now is the next position, getting ready to make the next move up. I still also see that we could potentially pull our MACD time frame and pull the MACD right up and stretch it out as long as possible on the monthly time frame. What do you think about that down below? But the dollar on the monthly time frame, guys, unfortunately, we really are banging on the lows here. It is heavy sell volume. The RSI is pulling down, the MACD is pulling down. So I believe that we could essentially see the dollar at least at 97 between now and the end of this year. What would you say about that? It's really just three points away. Thanks for being here with me, the Crypto Bliss channel. I truly appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next one. You bless beautiful souls. Take care. Have a lovely weekend.